Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I finally filmed the long-awaited fall inspired makeup tutorial. Oh my god, you guys. We're just gonna go ahead and skip September and go straight into November and in October because I'm so excited for fall and Halloween and Christmas. By the way, it's only 99 days until Christmas. Can you guys believe that? Like 2018 is about to come. It's like right around the corner talking about right around the corner my birthday is this saturday and i'm so excited i'm finally gonna be turning 20 on this channel with you guys and it's so awesome that you guys get to be part of it and you guys get to see me grow every day anyways enough talking about that so today i decided to do this fall autumn burgundy orangish glitter cut crease type of thing with the smoky eyeliner i feel like the smoky eyeliner is the wave for autumn and fall because it's not so harsh and it's smoky it gives you like those autumn vibes i don't know and then i paired it with this brown lip and then this brown shirt i feel like everything together just tied with my dark hair is just like pumpkin spice i feel like i just scream pumpkin spice and lattes and everything fall so it just excites me for the fall and i hope you're excited for it so if you want to learn how to recreate this look please keep on watching and please do not forget to hit that subscribe button it only takes one second of your life time a day and it makes a huge difference for me and you hopefully we can reach a million before this year ends so yeah without further ado let's get right into it So since we are doing a glitter today, I do recommend you guys do your base first. That way, just in case you get fallout, you can just dust it away instead of you doing your eyeshadow and then getting glitter on your face and it's sticky and just, it's gonna be a mess, okay? So do your foundation and base and everything first. So to start off, I'm actually gonna prime my face with a Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray. I actually read on here that you can actually prime your face with it and I tried it out and I've been loving it. So if you have this, I recommend you use this as a primer. Not to mention, it does have coconut oil in it, so it will keep your makeup fresh and moisturized throughout the day, and your face will smell good. So I'm using my Handy Dandy Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. I do use four pumps because your girl loves that full coverage. Every time I have a problem or like a concern or a question, I go ahead and ask you guys because it's better asking a lot of people and getting different answers um, instead of just like searching it up on Google, you know, and I know if not knowing if it works or not so i have been getting sunspots if you don't know what sunspots are it's like basically parts of your face look way lighter than the rest of your face i don't know why i have sunspots because i don't ever go out in the sun um so i don't know if it's because i'm not eating right or maybe i'm not eating something that's supposed to prevent it so if you guys know how to get rid of sunspots or just help um prevent them in general then let your girl know because you can still kind of see them through my foundation like right here looks lighter than the rest of my face and i just don't know how to fix it i used to get them when i was little and my mom would usually help me with that but obviously i'm grown now and i can't just hit up my mom and tell her to give me something for it so help your girl if you have an answer next i'm just going to apply my tarte shape tape so to prevent my skin from getting dry throughout the day and I want it to still look more stressed and dewy like if we're still in summer but we're not I'm just going to spray this all over my face and it just helps the concealer blend into my foundation more smoothly and it'll make my skin look even dewier once I set it with translucent powder so it prevents it from looking powdery and it makes my skin look super dewy and nice and even if you don't have this, then you can use this instead or any setting spray. I know Shelby uses setting spray as well right before she blends out anything. And it does make a difference, trust me. You guys, I don't know why, but I've been loving cream contouring lately. So I just get this in the shade R50. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And I grab just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'll just dab a little bit. This concealer is super pigmented. So I just added where usually my cheekbones sink in and I blend it upwards and it makes a difference when I apply my um, bronzer. It just makes my cheekbones look a little bit more sunken in and more defined. So I feel like this does make a difference when I do it. Do you see, you can see, you know, like my little like dope chin over here. This one adds a shadow so it makes it look like it's like cut. Cut it. Then I like to go back with the concealer 
And then I just add a little line. Oops. I have that in the way. And then with the beauty blender, I go to the sharp side. And I just start buffing it out. Do you guys see that? It looks so snatched, so like cut. Double chin, everybody. Don't forget to do double chin. Some of you have noticed that I have been going more than usual. And it's all thanks to this baby right here. This is the Iconic London Illuminator. Thank God for Shelby for introducing me to this. I ran out of my high beam, so I was like, do you have any liquid highlight? And she's like, yeah, I have this one. And she actually <laughs> happened to leave it here. And um, thanks, Shelby. I've been using it. And I just like to, oh my God, do you guys see that? I like to spread it with my fingers first. And then I go in with the beauty blender. This is hands down the best liquid highlighter I have ever tried it's so freaking good the only thing with this is that you have to work fast because it does dry super quickly and it will leave like the little stain of where you applied it i've been obsessed with having the glow like in the t-zone area i mean obviously the cheekbones but you know you know what i mean do you see that I'm like glowy everywhere. My face looks super dewy because of the um, Tasha Dewy Skin Mist. Okay, and now I'm just going to set everything with translucent powder and I'll be right back. So I already went ahead and set my entire face with translucent powder and actually bronzed my face because it's the same routine as always. And I did this eye off camera. That way it wouldn't be coming like on and off camera. But you guys, look at what happened. I have no idea how. Can you guys see my contact from this eye literally just came out and it was like halfway out and I tried grabbing it and when I pinched it, I don't know if it's because I have my claws or whatever, but it's lit in half. So now I can only see out of this eye. So if I cover this eye, everything is blurry. Like I cannot see probably like past here. Yeah, my hand looks blurry. So it sucks, but it's okay. The show must move on. So for today's palette, we are going to be using this one right here. This is the Juvia's Sahara Wait, what is it saying? The Saharan, Saharan. I don't know how to say this. The Saharan, I'm just gonna say that. The Saharan by Juvia's Place Palette. This is what it looks like. It's so freaking beautiful. They sent this to me in PR. And actually, this is the first red that I have ever tried out that is actually really pigmented. Whoa there, can you guys see that? It's just like bloody red in your face. Anyways, okay, I'm getting excited over this. So we're going to be using this and the Jaclyn Hill palette as well just to add some more dimension because it does not have all of the colors that I need. So I'm gonna start off with this orange shade right here using the Makeup Shack T12 brush. And this is actually going to be my transition shade. So I'm just buffing it out, bunch of wiper motions. <gasps> right I zoomed you guys in a little bit more just so y'all can see the step by step as to what I do. So now I'm going in with the red with the Makeup Shack T33 brush. And this is super pigmented, you guys. I don't even have to go back to the palette to add more red because this is enough red. But we're not going to leave it like that. Don't start panicking. I'm going in with my Morphe R38. And I'm going to use that to buff that color out. Because this isn't a blending brush. It's more like of a tapered brush because it's so flat. But I feel like this is perfect to place the eyeshadow, but go in with the blending brush to buff it all out. Going to go in with this dark maroon color. With this little Juvia's Place brush, this has been a lifesaver. You guys are going to see why. And I'm going to place it right in the crease right here. The reason why I love this brush, brush. Mm -hmm. The reason why I love this brush is because it's so precise as to where you want the eyeshadow to be at. So you guys see how it's just creating this little like dome effect right here. That is perfect for layering. Then I'm going back with this color right here. It's just like an orange soda, like creamsicle, yellowy color. It just reminds me of like a mustard color. So I go right on top of here. And I add that color. I switched brushes real quick just because this one's a bit more precise. So there you can see the layering. It's like the orange yellowish 
then the red and then the burgundy you want the fall rainbow to come through okay before we cut the crease i'm going to use the makeup shack t54 brush and it's just a flat brush and i'm going to grab the black eyeshadow and just tap it really quickly and i'm going to use that to outline where i want my eyeliner to be so it's going to be coming like this how you want to do the smoky liner is you see where your waterline is at just follow where it's going so it's going upwards perfect now i know that's where i want my eyeliner that's just a sketch and now i'm going to go in with the brush now i am just using the Too faced glitter glue for glitter i am using the beauty creations glitter in oh it doesn't have i'll have the name down below it does not show on there i like using dabbing motions so since i don't have any cream eyeliner i'm just going to use my color palette that i use from my halloween tutorials oh my god guys who's ready for halloween tutorials i cannot wait to start so for this part, all you're going to want to do is do your eyeliner up to right here. Where you start to see the wing going up, you stop. Going back to this brush. Just going to stamp it out a little bit more. So you guys see how this one is super thick. So you want it to kind of come like up here. So I'm going back with this one and I'm gonna create the line a little bit thicker so then i'm grabbing this brush by juvia's place and that's what i'm gonna use to smoke out the liner pick up a little bit of eyeshadow and just kind of flick it outwards so now that we're done with the liner i'm going back with the super small detailed brush and i'm picking some more of that burgundy shade up and then we're applying it right on top of that glitter. And since you can see over here, it's kind of like smoking out. We're going to do the exact same. So I'm just going to add eyeliner to the waterline. Here I'm just using this small shader brush to buff out the waterline. That way it looks a bit more smoky. And then after this, you're just going to want to go ahead and put on some falsies. So I'll be right back. So to complete the look, I'm just adding ABH Hollywood. ABH So Hollywood on the inner corner of my eyes, tip of my nose. So I recently discovered my favorite combo, which is Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals and ABH So Hollywood. Oh my god, this will have you blinding you guys. Okay, and then go in with a little bit because this one is strong. God damn, you see that? And for lippy, I am using MAC Oak, the lip pencil, and then Kylie Jenner Brown Sugar. And this is actually a really gorgeous color, you guys. Oh my god, it smells so good. And as I set everything in place, I'm going back with my Hangover Too Faced Setting Spray. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys are excited for the fall tutorials coming up and the Halloween tutorials. If you guys have any Halloween tutorials requests, then leave it down below. I'm going to do my Halloween series this year once again. And I'm doing the fall series this autumn. And this is the very first look of my fall series. I have many more planned out and a lot of them include glitter, which I'm very excited about. I actually already have all of them listed out. So look forward to that. And do not forget to subscribe. That way we can reach a million before the year ends. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.